Hello friend and welcome to my channel. I have prepared this educational video to show you how to change the battery of an iPhone with the newest method. It is about this iPhone 12 which has 80% battery health and must be replaced because it no longer offers top performance. The disassembly procedure is identical for all iPhones, it starts with unscrewing the bottom screws. In order to reach the battery, the screen must first be removed. As you know, with newer iPhone models, you cannot replace the actual battery with another one because a notification will appear in the settings. To perform the procedure correctly, only the battery cell must be replaced, and the BMS board will be transferred from the original battery. In the past, I needed a programmer to reset the battery's health, but now I found a product that does not require programming, it is enough to mount it on the battery's BMS. I will test this new method to see if it works. Stay with me to see this process in detail. After removing the adhesive tapes that hold the battery in place, I can remove it from its slot. The replacement part is this battery cell that does not contain the flex, because it will be taken from the original battery. Now, I can start to peel of the tapes that hold and isolate the BMS board. This is not an easy procedure considering the fragility of this piece. A wrong or sudden movement can lead to its bending or breaking. The place where it is welded is easily cut with a sharp blade. And, this small part must be welded to the new battery cell. Now, it's time to weld these two pieces just like it was on the old battery. For this I need flux paste and solder paste. I usually use solder paste that has low temperature melting point because high temperature can destroy the circuits on BMS. I take a bit of the paste and apply it to the places where it needs to be welded. Next, with the help of a soldering iron I will melt the paste on both parts which must be joined together. I aligned and fixed in position so that the welding between these parts is easy. This is a durable weld with no risk of breakage or separation. Now that the hard part is over, I can continue with gluing the insulating strips. In addition to the roll of insulation, the strips fix the BMS board to remain fixed in its place. The battery looks good, the process seems to be a success so far. I will mount the tag and flex and connect the battery to be able to turn on the phone. I am curious if the health of the battery will be reset only with this tag in or if the programmer will have to be used as before. This repair can be done by professional technicians because batteries are dangerous and can easily catch fire. However, if you want to practice, you can do it yourself without problems, but be careful. Voila! Battery health is 100%. This process is a successful one and I am satisfied with the result. If you like this type of content, you can subscribe to my channel for more videos, and check out this video I recently made, in which I restore a broken phone.